anyways, this came in today, and this is always uh, a big day for me because it means that I got my order from Emantech. And I ordered a few things. I can't remember, but I do remember I ordered a trigger. So let's see what we got here. We got some, oh, here we go. Here are the Competition Magazine Catch Release Springs. And I know the stock ones are really super fat. I'm not sure what makes these different, but we'll find out when we install them. So you, uh, if you remember correctly, I had done a video on replacing the um, magazine catch assembly. And so I'm going to be taking it apart again and putting in one of these competition springs in both my guns. Oh, and here is a new tool. And what the heck was this again? Sight drifting punch tool. I don't know why I bought this because I don't have any <laughs> front sights that I'm using, but I'm a bit of a tool collector. Uh, yeah. So if there's a tool to be had, I'm going to buy it. But uh, I, I sometimes uh, help other people with their guns. So I figure this will be useful at some point. And let's see what else we got here. Oh yeah, so I got some more of these competition uh, trigger bar springs as well. So I've got one installed in one of my guns already and I've got uh, one more to do to replace that. And then what else we have here? Okay, so this is a <laughs> stock uh, SPO1 magazine break. And you're probably wondering, why are you going back to a stock when you have a Springer Precision in there? I was running into problems with the Springer Precision with the lock grips. And what was happening was that the magazines were not free falling when I'd press the magazine um, release paddle. And I'd actually have to rip them out. And I found I was not having that problem with the stock magazine break. Unfortunately, I had given my uh, magazine break away to my friend who's uh, CZ85C that I had worked on because his magazine break was horrible. It's that even flimsier metal uh, than this is. But uh, this is better than, um, in my opinion, with my guns running the lock grips. And if it's a choice between a Springer Precision magazine break or lock grips, Sorry, not sorry, hands down, lock grips all the way. All right, let's see what else we got here. Okay, another competition magazine catch. You've seen that, don't need to see that again. Okay, so here is the big deal. This is the new trigger from Eamon Tech for the Shadow 2. Now I'm gonna have to go get my guns so we can actually, oh, actually, no, I don't need to get my guns. I just need to pull open my gunsmithing box so we can see the difference. So here is the stock trigger. And here is the flat trigger, which I'm currently running and which I really, really like. So it's kind of a happy medium there. Hey everyone, CZ Fan Girl here, and I didn't end up doing a video on um, the installation of this trigger just because I had uh, some other new tools that I was trying to fiddle around with and wanted to get some, you know, closer up shots for myself to be able to see what I was doing. And so I ended up foregoing on, the, on that, on the video instructions on, on how to use the tools. But uh, I will do a video on that later. So what I have here, this one used to be running the flat trigger and there was a fair bit of take up with the gun in double action and in single action, which is can be common with the Shadow 2s. This one is pretty much an exception from what I've seen and this trigger is super tight and by tight I mean there's practically zero take up 
So that's a uh, double action. And there it is in single action. So it th there's really not much to be done to improve this trigger. Putting this trigger in here, with the exception of just having the different shape, is not going to make this trigger really much better than that. All right, so this one had a lot of take up, and now there's very little. And then check this out in single action. This is just amazing. Very, very crisp and very little movement uh, in comparison to what it had when it was uh, still running a stock trigger on there. Even the um, the flat trigger uh, did not have um, that good of a trigger, actually. This is really good. This is a... Great, great trigger now. I uh, like this. I really like this. So just one word of advice if you're going to install one of these triggers with the double adjustment set screws is don't, it's a bit of a pain in the butt to get the set screws in after the fact because you're dealing with your uh, trigger guard and you got to kind of, you know, work your angles around there to get the, the set screw in there but uh, you can do it it's not a big deal if you put the set screw in there beforehand what can happen is that the set screw will not go in uh, far back in enough for you to be able to get your double action to reset uh, meaning it's sticking out a little ways and that's just enough to throw the double action off and the other thing, if you uh, screw it in too far, it's going to catch on the trigger spring and it's going to just lock it into position and it's not going to move at all. So don't, this one definitely did not need to have any benefit from having that uh, extra set screw up top there. Um, the triggers on the Shadow 2s are, are actually pretty excellent. And with uh, this trigger and the competition, disconnector it's uh, pretty nice I have to say I actually like the pull with this one it feels it feels more natural like my finger doesn't curve around like this one does I have a tendency to stick the finger too far through it and this one less so it's yeah, it's, it's a nice happy medium between the uh, the curved trigger and the flat trigger. Um, I'm probably going to end up getting another one and then uh, sticking it on this one here. Even though it's not going to make any real difference in terms of uh, the single action. Um, it just, it's a really nice feeling trigger. So, anyways... I know I was really hooked on those <laughs> flat triggers and I still like them. Um, maybe I'll give it a, a month or so of firing it with this in there, put the flat trigger in here and then see, you know, what's what after that. All right, CZ Fangirl out and uh, stay tuned for some shooting footage coming up.